Next, let's talk about the notation of torque. Actually, there are two kinds of notations available for torque. One is the double arrow form, and the one is the direction of the twist. Basically, as you can observe, those two kinds of notations are related by the right hand rule. That means when you are using your right hand, then your thumb is pointing to the direction of the double arrow, while the rest of your four fingers are twisted like this. It is similar for the torque to the left hand side. There is an advantage to express the torque in this way in the double arrow form. That is, you can easily identify that, okay, this is a positive torque. Why? Because in our previous axial load cases, this is called tensile load. Which is positive. And as you can see, when we are talking about the torque, we also have two double arrows pointing outward. Then we can say it is a positive torque. So positive torque means this piece of material is twisted like this. And similarly, if a piece of material is under a torque like this, in the axial load case, we know that it is compressive, it is negative, but in the torsion case, we say it is a negative torque. Then what is the negative torque? By using your right hand rule, it is easy to identify that the bar is twisted like this. So here, we also discussed the sign convention of the torque.